important number, as has been reported by many uh, news outlets, is whether individuals have paid. Does the administration collect this information? I'm just asking, do, they, do you collect this information? Right now, we're not, but we will be. When? As soon as that functionality is built. So we don't know at this point how many people have actually paid for coverage. That's right. All right. I'm a little slow here, but that means essentially that the White House really does have no idea, for the time being, how many people have actually paid for Obamacare. To the man asking these questions, uh, Mississippi Republican Greg Harper, because that's a big distinction, as you pointed out, Congressman. And, uh, it's one thing for folks to sign up. It's quite another thing for folks to pay it, because technically, you know, it's like when I go to Amazon.com or pick out items, they might be in my cart, but until I purchase them, uh, I, I, I don't have them. That's right, Neil. Or, or you could just leave the shopping cart right there on the exactly. aisle and walk out, which a lot of people are doing. But it is beyond comprehension that something this massive and that's been uh, been the the law for more than three years, they can't even tell me how many people have paid. But well, what if they and actually the know, but they're just not telling you because it's not good? Well, there, Neil, that's a great point, and certainly that's uh, you've got to think that they're not going to tell us anything that doesn't look good, and and the numbers have been less than desirable, even with those that they kind of leaked out or told us. Uh, are still not what they, they wanted them to be. And, and they continue to call things like the disaster of a rollout uh, a glitch. Well, it's much more disastrous than a glitch. And they've, they've tried to downplay the negative uh, info. And, you know, all we want are the facts and the truth, and it's just, uh, it seems to be difficult to get to. I understand it's human nature to, to sort of get out the good news or leak it out and, and hide the bad news or never get it out. Uh, but I, what worries me about this is this protest on the part of those who still stand by the law and thinks it, it, it's very, very good. Sandy Hoare among them just the other day on this very show, Congressman saying, Neil, in six months, uh, we won't even remember any of this, that we'll be off to the races. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but the gist of it was that the health care law will be well on its way to being very popular and being very appreciated by Americans. What do you think of that? Oh, Neil, I think that that's what we would uh, used to call wishful thinking because the people that call us and have been notified of either their policy being canceled, even after the president said that, you know, they could keep it, period, uh, if they liked it, and, uh, or the fact that they're getting increases in their deductible, uh, decreases in the level of coverage, and it's costing them a fortune of money they need to spend on their family. Uh, there's nothing that's going to be good or about that in six months. By the and, way, while uh, I've got you here, this continues. other, I'm sorry, sir, that all does stuff about whether insurance companies, if they're ever pushed to a corner like banks were before the meltdown um, or after the meltdown, uh, that Republicans would stand in lockstep against bailing them out, even though they were largely in lockstep about bailing the banks out then. You wouldn't do it with insurance companies now, is that right? I, I don't see a real mood to do that, but you can also see a shift in this administration of beginning to play the blame game to say, well, if the coverage got dropped, it's really the insurance company's fault. And, and once again, that's not a, not a true statement, but uh, right. you know, we'll see how this shakes out. But right now, uh, they're playing very uh, loose and free with the numbers, uh, and uh, that includes just about every category you have to consider to be suspect. It was a very revealing um, session today. Uh, thank you, Congressman. I appreciate it. Thanks, Neil. Great to be with you.